Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 15. This video we're going to be checking out the differences between a lambda reading and a gasoline air fuel reading that we see displayed on a wideband. It's important we understand these differences so that when we're going in and working with our Mtune software and calibrating in terms of units of lambda, we understand exactly what is going on. Now in addition to this, we're also going to be taking a look at what the stoichiometric air fuel ratio represents in the programming value in our software. This is going to be impacting our fuel calculations and we want to make sure that this is right so that our VE fuel model is going to be accurate. We'll break all of that down in this video. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at the differences between a wideband air fuel reading, a lambda amount that we're going to be programming within our Mtune software, and then what the stoichiometric ratio is going to be for the fuel type that we're going to be working with whether it's gonna be ethanol-based fuel, methanol-based fuel, or some kind of a petrol-based fuel with an ethanol blend, we have to represent that right because we need it to be part of our fuel calculation. And we'll find if we have it off, if we misrepresent what the type of fuel we're working with is going to be to the max, it's not going to uh, calculate things properly. And we'll find we'll absorb any kind of deviations within our VE fuel model, which isn't gonna be accurate. We wanna make sure these basic details are accounted for. So first thing I wanna talk about here, is going to be what the stoichiometric ratio represents of the fuel type we're working with. This is gonna be something confusing for a lot of people. I wanna break this down so it's very clear as to what we're dealing with here. So if we go under start and we go down under fuel, we're gonna go and use our drop down menu here. And we're gonna go into fuel general. Now under fuel general, we're gonna find we have fuel stoich AFR. And this is going to be where we are representing the fuel that we're tuning with. Now we can find here we have an option for gasoline, couple different options for different ethanol blends. So E85 is 85% ethanol, 15% petrol fuel. That's gonna be the blend of the fuel we might be using. E75 is going to be 75% ethanol, 25% petrol fuel blended together. We have pure methanol, which is going to be 6.4 to one. We have flex fuel, which requires a flex fuel ethanol sensor as we see uh, listed right here. This is going to be representing and taking a look at whatever the ethanol content is registered from our flex fuel sensor. It will then be able to tell the max ECU what that particular blend is going to be and how the fuel modeling should go in and calculate based off that. Finally, we have another option here, custom setting. This will be if we have a custom blend of ethanol and petrol fuel, we can go here and work with this. Or if we're dealing with something like uh, a propane based fuel. Let's say we're running our engine on natural gas or propane, we can go and actually program that's fuel stoich AFR. Now, why is this important? You're probably asking yourself. Well, this is going to be telling the max the actual type of fuel we're dealing with and how it's doing that is based on this stoichiometric point. So, in this case, with a pure petrol gasoline air fuel, so we have no ethanol within our fuel, this is going to be 14.7 to 1. This means this is the ideal burn ratio to have good fuel economy, good power out of the engine, and the best emissions output from the tailpipe. Now, if we're dealing with, again, ethanol-based fuel, this is going to be the stoich ratio or the stoichiometric ratio of that fuel. E85 is going to be 9.7 to 1. And as we can see, we go on and on here down the list with different fuel types. Now, let's talk about what this actually means when we're specifying this fuel stoich value. What I have here, what I'm going to be showing you is a Excel spreadsheet, very basic calculator I've created just to illustrate and highlight what I'm trying to show and talk about in this video. So if we go here into this particular calculator, we can find that we have our stoich ratio. That's going to be what we would program here into our software. We can see right now ethanol content in my particular calculator is showing 0% ethanol content or we have pure petrol fuel. Now in this case, the stoich ratio is represented as 14.7 to one. And we can see the overall multiplier here. That's gonna be what it's multiplying in the background of our fuel calculations. That's gonna be 0%. Now, let's take a look at what happens if we have 10% blended ethanol or petrol-based fuel. So we have a, a blend of 90% petrol, 10% ethanol. In this case, this is gonna be known as E10. Now, 10% blended ethanol is very common in the United States. And around the, around the world, around the country, that might vary a little bit. But in the East Coast, the Northeast, the United States, the majority of the gas pumps where I'm located will have 10% ethanol within the fuel. That is going to be very common. In fact, most parts of the United States will have some form of ethanol blended in the fuel. But in this case, I'm going to have 10%. Now, I'm going to go in here and just illustrate something very quickly. If I go in and type in 10% ethanol into my calculator and hit enter, 
we're going to find that the Stoich ratio here changes to 14.13. That's actually what I should enter into my max in order so it understands what that fuel type is going to be. Because with 10% blended ethanol fuel, my Stoich ratio, having that blend or balance. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.